a little bit late with this video, but I wanted to show you this past weekend reward from Foot uh, from Foot Champs uh, finals. I got all the way um, to rank seven. Believe it or not, this was my very first time playing uh, Foot Champs finals. I mean, I played in other times, but I don't really play it enough to actually go that far but this time i actually beat the playoffs and i qualified to get into the finals and it was a lot of grinding i had to push out another 20 uh games the other night but i got it done and we also um completed all the way up to i think um what, what i think all the way to in, in squad battles not rank 200 but the rank right below 200 so i was able to get a lot of free packs from that as well as a, a free player um but with the rank seven and, and uh, foot champs finals i was able to get two shapeshifter uh player picks uh actually it was a uh player pick a one of four either you get a shapeshifter or a team to a season player all the way up to max level or max rating 92. now like i said i know i'm a little bit late with this video and some people have been asking like man where's the where, what, what kind of rewards did you get and I've been having some kind of issue with my live streams when I uh, do live streams on Twitch. For some reason, it, it, my my live streams on Twitch are not um, publishing for some kind of strange reason. I don't know what that's about. I might have to really uh, see what it is. But when I logged into my Twitch, you know, it was just not available for me. So if you see right here, what we have with the player picks right here for the shapeshifter, I got... Uh, the, the selection of Brimmer, Boots, Alaski, and B Badaki. But God, I, I, I can't pronounce these names. I'm, I'm butchering them right now. But, you know, I didn't really know which one to get. Of course, I normally go with the higher rated um, player pick if I can. If, 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 if you know, if, if, if basically if other players are not as higher value um, as far as their capabilities and their stats, I may go with the higher rating ones if these are like a low volume selection. Um, cause if I don't want to use the, uh, that particular car, I could always put them in a player pack. I mean, a, a SBC that may require a team of the season, uh, card. So, you know, I was able to, uh, go through the selection and I, um, uh, I did some research and, I was trying, and it didn't really seem like a lot of people had a lot of interest in these cards in particular. I mean, these wasn't the greatest picks of the cards. And actually, I think these right here was these. I, was, I think this was no, this was actually this was my um these, these were my uh, these were my uh, team. This was my rival uh, rewards. Yeah, these was my foot champ rival rewards. I, it wasn't the greatest, but I was able to get uh, quite a few stuff done, you know. And it was, it was very interesting to say the least, you know, the rewards that I got because the battles is hard. I swear, man, it seemed like the best top tier of FIFA players just come out and grind so hard when it comes to the foot champs uh, finals because I swear everybody I played was like an expert that was uh, exploiting all of my, my flaws and my weaknesses and it was a tough battle. I, I could see why many people probably don't play that that mode, but man, you know, I, I really try to grind it out and I got and I got through it, but it it was difficult. It wasn't the easiest of accomplishments and I didn't um I actually surprised myself get, getting to the uh to the rank that I actually uh went to at rank seven and wow, like I said, it was just a hell of a battle, man. It it really was. I, I could it I just I didn't think it was gonna be actually that tough, man. Like I don't know how many of you out there have actually played uh foot champ finals, but let me tell you something. If you have never done that, whew, you are you are you are definitely in for a surprise, man. For for my second lineup, my selection of players, and I only got a team of the se season picks. I got um who we have here? We got uh, Ventinia, Cooper, Halo, and as uh, Stokovic. And I ended up going with the higher rated car of uh, Ighalo because it was ninety one. Um, seemed like the uh, uh, the better pick of the options. Plus, there's a Saudi League objective right now that I need to go ahead and accomplish so I can get some more uh, sw swap tokens 
So I went ahead and, and knocked that out and go, went ahead and picked him. And also, you guys, I wanted to, I wanted to put this out there because I don't know if there's a lot of people doing it, but you guys want to go out there and actually do the league SBCs because the other night I was grinding so many of them. I'm, I mean, I've stayed up to like 2, 3 in the morning opening up so many league SBCs and completing them because I was getting so many high-rated special cards. I really could not believe it, bro. It, it was it was really surprising. So, like I said, man, go and check out the league SBCs, and they're really ridiculously cheap to be able to knock out, you know what I'm saying, and, and get those packs from because, man, it's going to be some surprising cards in there because I had some big, big top-tier players coming out of these packs, man, from the league SBCs. Now... Also from the uh the foot champs, you know they gave me a bunch of player packs, um, uh, and I think I I was able to get like um, I think I got like ten or fifteen thousand coins or something from it, plus like seven hundred and fifty uh champ cards, uh I mean ch uh, championship points, and then um I also got this uh this ninety two rated uh Jao Paulo uh card. Is uh central mid position, 88 pace, 81 shooting, 95 passing, 92 dribbling, 80 defense, and 86 uh, physical. Man, I was really excited to see this uh player pop out in the red. It, um, you know, three star skill moves, three star weak foot. It was pretty. It was pretty decent. You know, I can't I can't complain about the rewards that I got uh this this past weekend. <laughs> And you know some some of the, some of the other cards I got was duplicates. You know, nothing no, a, whole, a whole lot to write home about. But you know the challenge and everything I got from out of it, I think it was pretty worth it to say the least. It really was. Um, and I would advise any of you guys that's out there playing, um, you know, FIFA 22 that you know get into the the division rivals and try to see how far you could go and rank up because I heard that. Even if you lose all of your matches, you're still going to come out on top with some pretty decent rewards. And right now, we need all the cards that we could get for the uh, for fodder, so we that, so that we could unlock some other cards and um and these SBC challenges that's going to be coming out relatively soon. So you want to get prepared for all of these things as much as possible, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you know, hopefully you guys are out there grinding like me day in and day out, trying to complete these objectives and get more achievements under your belt and building up your skills as you continue to play um, until we get to FIFA 23. I just wanted to make a quick video real quick, but um, if you if you like this video, hey man, it'll help me out a tremendous, if you, if you leave a comment and um, press a like on this video, and uh, I stream all the time on YouTube and on Twitch. My Twitch is spelled a bit different. It's Grown Man Games with a Z at the end instead of an S. And also, if you want to subscribe and help build up my channel, that will also be very appreciated as well, man. And thank you for checking out this video. Peace.